Uh, yeah, we cut to Lenny James's lawyer, who is. Um... <laughs> Sorry, that, that sounds really like fucking Lenny James is sued not to be in the film, just sent his lawyer in. <laughs> <laughs> we cut to Lenny James, who's playing a lawyer called Cedric. <laughs> and he's getting a lift to work off Bob Hoskins, who is his police protection officer, I guess. Um, and he makes a, a joke to Bob Hoskins about how his wife thinks Bob Hoskins is a racist and all police are racists, which sounds accurate. Um, it sounds and accurate it's... and he looks like really hurt by it and I think the film's telling us that it's really shocking how um, you know uh, you know people who say you're racist have the upper hand in society or some shit yeah, like, probably. I don't know it, the, the, the messaging behind that is really fucking confusing and weird yeah it doesn't look like they've got the kind of the level of rapport where you where they would make that kind of joke to each other you know what I mean yeah <laughs> But as they drive, as they drive to the court, uh, we get like a fucking drone shot. One of the few times the camera isn't like, do you know what I mean? Fucking jittering. We hear a news report that libels a guy um, because it talks about like, you know, the ongoing trial of feared London criminal fucking Barry murder or whatever the fuck he's called. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure the news isn't allowed to refer to someone as a feared London criminal while their trial is ongoing. I think that at the very least the judge might have something to say about that. Um, they get to the court and Bob Hoskins explains that like fucking all cops are bent. They couldn't lie straight in bed. He's the only, he's the only honest cop in Britain. You see? I feel like, I feel like, why, I feel like mm. uh, the not couldn't lie straight in bed is like the best line in the whole film. And that is saying something. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the actual like best line in the film is like seconds later when Bob Hoskins asks Cedric if he wants a coffee and he says he'll have a Ribena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll have a Ribena. I'm just going for a piss because obviously you need the Ribena what? to rehydrate after you've pissed. Mm. What 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 is that supposed to be? I do not fucking know. And I you know what I mean. I, we could be here all night trying to speculate on I, what the I, fuck I know, Nick Love is I know. talking about. I know, I know. the The whole Ribena thing is literally just like a Ribena is a, a drink that children have. Is basically all that's going on there. Like Ribena is for you know, give you your kid a little carton of Ribena when they go off to packed lunch from back in the day. Not so much now. So they're basically saying that he's kind of like childish and like not really fully grown into manhood. That's what that is James, signaling. Not very subtly. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there because I feel like that is too <laughs> many layers. Of, yeah. of thinking <laughs> for Nick Love, who probably just thought it would be funny for him to drink a Ribena. Yeah, this film was not written in the traditional sense. Like, I, I, no, you no, might no, you no, might watch no, it and no, think no, this no, could no, have done no, with no, a second draft, but I think hold this on. could have done with a first draft. I think this is literally just <laughs> hold on. a bunch of lads lads got together in the pub and speculated about what would make a good film, and then like a hungover Nick Love tried to fucking write it all down the next morning. You know, you know how... Um... <laughs> no, right, okay, so let, let, hang on, let's bring some Hegelian Marxism to this, right? I, could you, I brought a thesis. This film doesn't deserve uh, that. You, you guys have brought an antithesis, which I absolutely, you know, that's fair enough. The synthesis is that, yes, none of this was conscious thought, but that is what it means. You so... could have left the synthesis at yes. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how... Um... When uh, Seth Rogen and and, and Co uh, wrote Sausage Pie, they were just smoking insane amounts of weed so that they could write it. This is like that, but the British version where the guys writing it were just doing line after line after line of coke. Yeah, through a rolled up Daily Mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, inhaling pure Hitler particles. 